Not everything is known about these uncontacted tribes, but most of them are not really tourist destinations. I'm your host Yusuf, and these are 10 terrifying uncontacted tribes you should never visit. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Anyways, let's take a look. Number 10, the Sentinelese. The Sentinelese people of North Sentinel Island, which lies near South Andaman Island in the Bay of Bengal, reject contact. Attempts to contact them have usually been rebuffed, sometimes with lethal force. Their language is markedly different from other languages of the Andamans, which suggests that they have been isolated for thousands of years. They have been called by experts the most isolated people in the world, and they are likely to remain so. During the 2001 census of India, a joint expedition conducted during the the 23rd to 24th of February 2001 identified at least a few dozen individuals, but it was not exhaustive. Helicopter surveys after the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami confirmed the Sentinelese had survived, and there have been a few limited interactions with them since. The local Andaman and Nicobar administration has adopted an eyes on and hands off policy to ensure that no poachers enter the island. A protocol for circumnavigation of North Sentinel Island has been made and notified in consultation with the Indian government. Individuals have occasionally attempted to contact them, although such attempts are against the law. In November 2018, American missionary John Allen Chow had his life cut short by the Sentinelese during an illegal expedition to the island, where Chow had intended to convert the tribe to Christianity. Number 9, the Toromona. The Toromona are an uncontacted people living near the upper Madidi River and the Heath Rivers in northwestern Bolivia. The government has created an exclusive, reserved, and inviolable portion of the Madidi National Park to protect the Toromona. The group faced encroachment from a Chinese mining company in 2016. Among the Ioreo people of the Gran Chaco are a small number of uncontacted nomadic hunter-gatherers in the Ca Ia del Gran Chaco National Park and Integrated Management Natural Area. Pacahuaras are believed to be living in voluntary isolation in the Pando Department. Number 8, the Awa. Until the 1970s, Brazil attempted unsuccessfully to move anyone on lands that could be commercially cultivated. Then, in 1987, it set up the Department of Isolated Indians inside Funai, facilitating the work of Sidney Pozuelo and Jose Carlos Meirelles, and declared the Valle do Havari perpetually sealed off, encompassing an area of 85,444 square kilometers. In 2007, Funai reported the presence of 67 uncontacted indigenous peoples in Brazil, up from 40 in 2005. The Awa are people living in the eastern Amazon rainforest. There are approximately 350 members and 100 of them have no contact with the outside world. They are considered highly endangered because of conflicts with logging interests in their territory. Number 7, the Korubu. The Karubu live in the lower Valle du Havari in the western Amazon basin. Other tribes may include the Uru Eu Uau Uau and the Himarima. There may be uncontacted peoples in Uru Eu Uau Uau indigenous territory and Kampa indigenous territory and in Vira River isolated peoples. In 2019, some isolated groups of one to two people came to the media's attention. Two brothers of the Piripkura tribe had continued to live alone in the jungle but initiated contact with Funai after a fire they had kept burning for 18 years went out. They were the subsequent focus of the documentary Piripkura. Another man colloquially called the Man of the Hole lived alone on 8,000 hectares where he dug hundreds of holes for farming and trapping. He was found lifeless in his hammock in a self-made dwelling. As of 2021, uncontacted peoples in Brazil are threatened by illegal land grabbers, loggers, and miners. Additionally, the government of Jair Bolsonaro signaled its intention to develop the Amazon and reduce the size of indigenous reservations. Number 6, the Taga Eri and the Taro Manane. Two isolated indigenous peoples of Ecuador live in the Amazon region, the Taga Eri and the Taro Manane. Both are eastern Huarani peoples living in Yasuni National Park. These semi-nomadic people live in small groups subsisting on hunting, gathering, and some crops. They are organized into extended families. Since 2007, there is a national policy which mandates untouchability, self-determination, equality, and no contact. In 2013, more than 20 Taro Manane were attacked by other Huarani. Number 5, the Toto Bigosode tribe. Approximately 100 Iareo peoples, some of whom are in the Toto Bigosode tribe, live uncontacted in the forest. The Iareo are an indigenous people of Gran Chaco. They live in an area surrounded by the Paraguay, Pilcomayo, 
Parapeti and Grand Rivers, spanning both Bolivia and Paraguay. There are approximately 5,600 Ayoreo people in total. Around 3,000 live in Bolivia and 2,600 live in Paraguay. Traditionally nomadic hunter-gatherers, the majority of the population was sedentarized by missionaries in the 20th century. The few remaining uncontacted Ayoreo people are threatened by deforestation and loss of territory. They're nomadic and they hunt, forage, and conduct limited agriculture. They are the last uncontacted people south of the Amazon basin and are in Emoto Cody. Threats to them also include rampant illegal deforestation. According to Survival International, Brazilian company Yaguarete Pora SA is converting thousands of hectares of the Ayoreo Totobigo Sode tribe's ancestral territory into cattle ranching land. The Union of Ayoreo Natives of Paraguay is working for their protection with support from the Iniciativa Emoto Cody. Number 4. The Macho Piro the Macho Piro are nomadic Arawak hunter-gatherers who inhabit Manu National Park in Peru. In 1998, the International Work Group for Indigenous Affairs estimated their number to be around 100 to 250. They speak a dialect of the Piro languages, and amid incursions on their land, the tribe has made it clear they do not wish to be contacted. As of 2013, all the bands seem to be surviving. Other groups include the Machiguenga, Nanti, Ashaninka, Mayoruna, and Pananjuri. Many of them speak dialects of Panoan languages. There are five reserves for uncontacted peoples. However, the law designed to protect those peoples does not prevent economic operations there. Number three, the Piaroa people. The Piaroa people, known amongst themselves as the Huatuja or De Aruhua, are a pre-Columbian South American indigenous ethnic group of the Middle Orinoco Basin in present-day Colombia and Venezuela, living in an area larger than Belgium, roughly circumscribed by the Swapur, Parguaza, and the right bank of the Orinoco. Their present-day population is about 15,000, with an estimated 2,500 living on the left bank of the Orinoco River, in Colombia, in several reservations between the Vichada and the Guavier. Number two, the Yanomami. The first report of the Yanomami to the northern world is from 1654, when a Spanish expedition under Apolinar Diaz de la Fuente visited some Yacuana people living in the Padamo River. Diaz wrote, By interlocution of an Uramanavi Indian, I asked Chief Yoni if he had navigated by the Orinoco to its headwaters. He replied yes, and that he had gone to make war against the Guaharibo, or the Yanomami Indians, who were not very brave, and who will not be be friends with any kind of Indian. From approximately 1630 to 1720, the other river-based indigenous societies who lived in the same region were wiped out or reduced as a result of slave hunting expeditions by the conquistadors and banderantas. How this affected the Yamomami is unknown. Sustained contact with the outside world began in the 1950s with the arrival of members of the new tribe's mission as well as Catholic missionaries from the Society of Jesus and Salesians of Don Bosco. Number 1. The Nukok People the Nukok people, also known as Nukok Maku, live between the Guaviare and Inirida rivers in the depths of the tropical humid forest on the fringe of the Amazon basin in Guaviare Department, Republic of Colombia. They are nomadic hunter-gatherers with seasonal nomadic patterns and practice small-scale shifting horticulture. They were classified as uncontacted people until 1981 and have since lost half their population primarily to disease. Part of their territory has been used by coca growers, ranchers, and other settlers, as well as being occupied by guerrillas, army, and paramilitaries. Responses to this crisis include protests, requests for assimilation, and the self-inflicted passing of leader Mao Bay. An estimated 210 to 250 Nukok people live in provisional settlements at San Jose del Guaviere, while about as many live nomadically in the Nukok reservation. Thanks for watching. Those were 10 terrifying uncontacted tribes you should never visit. Leave a like and comment if we miss something on our list, and we hope you have a scary day.